Are you sick of being defined by your past struggles? Do you want to dare failures and rise to success in life? Enter this kick-ass motivational speech that will inspire you and leave you pumped the fuck up to conquer your world. Underneath the traditional idea of success, this video seeks to uncover some radical ideas about beliefs and doubts, the champion mindset, embracing failure, and how visualization is the key. Prepare to unlock your capabilities and overcome any impediments on your path. Beliefs over doubts. Therefore, the author is one of those believers believing in firm beliefs and ideas in a world full of doubts and limits. Adversity is their inspiration, not their hindrance. This is a life in which you can defy all adversity just by being a positive, resilient person. Champion's Mindset What makes a champion different from everyone else? Rather, it is the fortitude to overcome tough moments time and again. A champion understands that success is not an event or a period, but simply rolling with the punches, adapting, and continuing to put in work. It is that you get up when you fall for the thousandth time, for the million. It does not matter. Learning from failure. Failure is not fatal, but only a fork on the great trail of success. Multiple Failures Before Notable Goals, Jordan Rubin. The author shares personal experiences of species juxtaposition. Every failure, from finishing the Navy SEAL training to climbing the pull-up bar for a record-setting about of misery, taught him parasitic nuggets that burrowed in his gray cerebrum and then coaxed his body toward victory. A study in the Journal of Experimental Psychology found that you are more likely to achieve long-term success if you see failure as a learning experience. However, we each have complete control over effort and attitude. Rather than fixate on unfixed things, the author suggests we spend our time investing in those doable elements of life. Effort, attitude, actions, relationships. Nutrition and mental input are all in our control. Once you master these, you can discover how to overcome anything and forge your own path. Neuropatterning and visualization. Visualization is powerful. This process of mentally making success our goal and visually rehearsing the outcomes we hope to achieve can actually lead us to start retraining our brain to both expect and reach our pursuit. Visualization is the act of getting our thoughts, emotions, and actions aligned with a result so as to create an energetic force that will bring success. Individuals who used visualization techniques fared up to 45% better in a study by the Cleveland Clinic Foundation. Position itself transcends wins and losses, but the influence Rakura does acquire translates to more than just combat. Actual success is not just about external outcomes. The author challenges us to question what our life really means without it being strictly about victory and defeat. It clearly is about growing individually, positively influencing others, and making a mark. When we find meaning in what we do, our actions become motivated by this same purposefulness rather than governed by decisions made as a result of fear of making mistakes. Work ethic and consistency. In a culture that rewards mediocrity and comfort, it's all about work ethic and dedication. That single-minded dedication to getting better is what defines the space between mediocrity and greatness. We should abide in a state of ever learning and growing from what all life throws our way. The research of Angela Duckworth, a psychologist and professor at the University of Pennsylvania, has found that people who find employable are the ones with staying power. In a nutshell, the strength of the motivational speech is that it lights up our minds. It still means fall seven times, get up eight inches. The message is a little bit of encouragement to overcome failures, setbacks, and self-doubt. It inspires us to think like a champion, to grow from defeat, and finally see our dreams. We can overcome literally anything by linking into purpose over and above our external achievements and bound by an obsession to work hard as fuck. So, are you willing to elevate above these challenges and actually start writing a new story? The choice is yours.